Hello, in this video, we are going to do something really, really cool. We're going to install Doom 3, not the original Doom from the 90s, Doom 3 that came out in 05, I want to say. I think, yeah, because it's just after, it was after Half Life 2. I remember that there was those three games at the same, that came out in pretty, you know, similar period. It was Half Life 2, Far Cry, Doom 3, Fear, like those games, you know, they were you know each innovated graphically in their own you know respect half-life was crazy on the physics as was i'll say pretty much fear as well doom had some cool lighting stuff you know etc etc i digress so we're going to install this on this headset this is a quest 2 you can install it on quest 1 as well works fine on that so it doesn't really matter whether you got quest 1 or quest 2. you will need a few things headset obviously windows as well i will create a separate video on how to do it on mac it's a little bit of a hacky way because it's not officially supported on mac but you know I'll, I'll show you a video of how to do it the other thing that you will need is to have side quest set up which allows you to side load games onto your quest so I've already created a separate video showing you how to get hold of that, install it, set it up. So that's not, I'm not going to be covering that here. I'll provide a link in the description to the Oculus Quest tutorial series, which covers how to set that up, plus a bunch of other Quest related videos. So feel free to check them out. The other thing is you need to have Doom Free. However you obtain it, that's up to you. I've got it via Steam. That is the method I know 100% works. You, you need some files from there. So somebody's ported Doom 3 on in an APK form, which we'll use SideQuest to side load onto here. We need the some asset files from the Doom folder, and then we put that on here. So first of all, let's launch up SideQuest. I would recommend that you're on the latest version, otherwise you can cause few issues so first of all let's connect our headset up uh, say not detected it'll probably either go orange or green if it goes green fantastic if it goes orange unauthorized just gotta put our headset on it says allow usb debugging click allow click allow access to data and allow usb debugging popped up again for some reason and there we go so that's all connected now Let's leave it still connected again i'll cover the type of cable that you can use on my side quest video now what you want to do is actually install this doom free quest but I'll, you know i'll search for it so in case depending on when you do it it might not be available there so doom free quest there we go open that click install to headset go here it'll start downloading and installing it it's a small file so it's not going to take long to download and install so okay it's almost done so let's wait a few more seconds the download will take longer than the installation to be honest but either one isn't that long to be fair it's installing it boom done apk installed okay with two exclamation marks now you want to, you know, get hold of Doom. I've got it via, I mean, not Doom Free, Doom Free. You know, that's what I'm going to say, Doom Free. I've got it via Steam right here. Doom Free BFG does not work. For this, you need Doom Free. In the future, they might port some sort of version of Doom Free BFG over. But, you know, Doom Free is the one. So, once you've downloaded this, once you've got hold of this via your Steam account or some other method, then what you want to do is actually open up the directory where you've got it installed. If you've got it installed on Steam, your default directory would be in like program files, either the x86 or the regular one, and there'll be a folder called Steam. You go in there. But for me, I put it on a separate hard drive, on a different hard drive, I mean, and that is in games, Steam. This layout will be the same depending on regards of what hard drive you're installing on. From here, you wanna go to Steam apps, Go to common and then find the Doom Free folder. Go to base. From here, you need to copy a bunch of files. You need to copy these. But what I want to show you is you can't copy them over yet. Because if we launch up SideQuest, SideQuest, and we go to this manage files on headset, we need a folder called Doom Free Quest. You don't get that until you launch 
of doom request on your headset so let me launch that up let me go home let me go to the browser let me actually share the screen as well so you can see exactly what i'm seeing so i'm going to go to sharing cast to computer next you should see what i'm seeing momentarily yep you are seeing it now okay there we are so from here you want to go to apps you want to go to this drop down scroll down go to unknown sources select doom free quest this will crash and click allow for allow permissions this will crash and just take you back to the home screen that's fine that's exactly what we wanted it to do i was gonna put take the headset off take put it down and now if we launch side you know have side quests open cable still connected as you can see right here go to this manifold on headset there we go the doom free quest folder has appeared if it still doesn't appear for you these are the two things i'll recommend turn off side quest relaunch it and reboot your oculus headset sometimes side quest can be a bit iffy about you know yeah, getting updates on the folder hierarchy i never really had the issue I read about other people that have and those are the solution reboot side quest and reboot the quest and just reconnect the quest in here go to doom free quest go to base there's already a pk4 file here and what you want to do is go to the doom folder that we open so you want all the game pk4s and all the pack pk4 so that's zero to three of the games and zero to eight so nine pack files nine pack pk4 files and four game pk4 files so just drag down to here you'll start copying if you go to the running one tasks and it's saying file uploading the first four pk files are the largest they're the ones that's going to take the most amount of time the game ones are very small just a couple of megabytes or so each and that's it so the other ones didn't show for the simple reason if we go to our folder as you can see that's less than a meg one and a half three and a half less than a meg and oh, these five sorry these five are you know the assets of the game the others are very small as well so they just you know copied over really quickly so now if i go back to the folder go to doing free quest go to base as you can see all of the I think, what, 13 files have been copied over that's it we're actually installed and set up now what we can do is launch up or put the headset on you can actually disconnect the cable at this point so yeah why not I'm, I'm gonna disconnect the cable I don't need the cable anymore just to show you I can play Doom free wirelessly in VR and it is well, I'm excited to play this I've already had a go to be fair just make sure it's working so if I put the headset on Make sure you can see what I'm seeing. You can, that's good stuff. Um, okay, so again, if you aren't on this menu, you go to apps, drop down, go to unknown sources, launch Doom Free Quest. And now you can see it's taking a bit longer. We get the cursor. The cursor is controlled by your right hand. So there we go. So we can, you know, go to VR options. There's a whole heap of options here. I recommend that you actually go through these and feel free to modify them and experiment with them. So general, you can change the laser sight, the shake amplitude, you know, your body mode, height offset, all of that stuff. I'm gonna stay seated, but it's really immersive. If you do it standing up, you can change the performance as well. So you can show the FPS. You can, you know, recommended headset setting for Quest One, 60 hertz locked divide by 1.0 let me 1.0 ss to sampling and what 1x multi multi sampling anti-aliasing quest 2 which is what i've got is 60 hertz 1.2 ss and 2x msaa or if you lower down the super sampling and have your 72 hertz so you can you know, change all of that stuff and you can modify the hood as well so there's nothing in the options section at the moment they may change that in a future date. There's stuff here. But we don't need to concern ourselves with that. 
go to new game and you can also do cinematics as flat or immersive immersive you can actually you know look around during the cinematic and you know there's some you know controls right here trust me press a few of the button and it's self-explanatory go to new game i want to go to recruit it is loading doom free on the oculus quest headset wirelessly running 100 percent on the headset is loading so i want to give you a little disclaimer this video is not condoning piracy for educational purposes and you know you should legally of the game etc etc all that you know jazz and if you want to skip this stuff on your left controller press this menu button right here and that's what skip stuff and that's also the pause button as well i'm going to, I'm going to skip that and there we go can i can you still see what i'm seeing yeah you can good stuff good good stuff and as you can see i can move my hands around i can look backwards and forwards obviously it would be even better if i was standing up i'm gonna say ct and if we go to a place like this where i can interact with you, if we go close your hand changes and i can actually do inbound outbound and it's changed again and if i press the this trigger for the index finger on my left hand we can run and oh, is it the a button is it a is jump he definitely doesn't look like a zombie i remember i remember playing this game back in was it 05 it came out and i was like whoa yep <laughs> chill bro chill don't try and put me in a box let me go for it it's gonna be a little creature running around on the ground here hey where you going where you going yeah, it's a robot not a creature sorry and I can run around and use and the speakers on here with the sound like you yeah, have sort of like a surround sound vibe which is you know nothing new you know the quest has that obviously built in and here's a cutscene as you can see I can look around which is great and I can skip it using this button here yeah, let's just put that away skip in here again <laughs> you look scary <laughs> touch the mic Can I interact with it? I'm not too sure. <laughs> and that's it. So if you press this to pause, you'll pause it and you can press that again to resume or click return game. You can save it like so. And I could do a new save. Save game. So you can save it wherever you want, which is fantastic. So it is like the OG Doom Free on PC. You can load a game, you can quit the current game, and you can go to exit as well, which will obviously exit the game. So that is it. That is how you install Doom Free on your Oculus. Let me just close this down. On your Oculus Quest using SideQuest and using the Doom Free Quest application. So this is an amazing port that has been done. I'm gonna play more of this game. I remember really being so scared of this game back in the day when I was a kid, because let me, no, we're done now. So feel free to end the video. I'm just gonna have a quick look at when it came out. I'm pretty sure it was 05. Doom Free. 04, actually, 04. So in the same year as Half-Life 2. Far Cry must have been 05 then. Fear must have been then. So, Doom Free, yeah, when this came out back then, I was so, like, it was so scary. And now in VR, Jesus, it's going to be even scarier. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to definitely check this out. So that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. 
really you know hope you like playing doom free on the oculus quest one or two let me know your experiences of in the comments you know etc etc and i look forward to seeing you in the next video if you have any you know problems as well any issues with the quest or doing this process or anything else feel free to pop me a message either in the comments or the best way is via the discord group and the link to that in the description and there'll be a link on the channel as well there's over a thousand members on there and if i can't assist you or don't have the time to assist you at that moment somebody else will and many other people know more than me as well those community members so you get better support that way but feel free to reach out however you can and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video